Hong Kong's top medical advisors say it's time for the authorities to change the way they tackle COVID. According to the experts, the zero-COVID strategy is not a long-term solution and borders should be fully reopened when vaccination rates are high enough. When a Wong again. In an opinion piece for Ming Pao newspaper today, three of the city's most prominent medical advisors urged the government to start rethinking its approach on tackling COVID. The article by David Lung, Ivan Hung and Yun Kwok Young is the first of its kind in the wake of the zero COVID strategy. Hong Kong has been successful in keeping the virus at bay, thanks to the dedication of our medical workers, the public's cooperation in adhering to social distancing rules, and wearing surgical masks, they wrote, adding that strict border controls also helped. But all these measures keep Hong Kong on the defensive, they said. Hong Kongers have been fighting the pandemic this way for two years. They're fatigued, and it shows. It's time to take on a new approach of resilience through vaccines so the city can open up to the rest of the world again. The experts said the current policy should be seen as a buffer period to give people time to get vaccinated and not a long-term goal. They warned that maintaining the status quo could harm mental health and Hong Kong's status as an international financial center. The experts suggested reopening the city once the vaccination rate hits 90 percent and possibly returning to fully open borders by July if 99 percent of the population are triple jabbed. Citing the cases of Singapore and Israel, the experts said an infection surge would be inevitable once borders reopen. But vaccines will help lower the death rate and serious symptoms. They urged the government to adopt vaccine passports and boost vaccination rates among the young and the old. Wen Wang, HKIPC. The government says it will consider the vaccine passport suggestion. We are on the same page with Dr. Jun team because um, we are also, as a government, now is encouraging all the citizens to. Um, to get the vaccination as soon as possible, including the primary series and also um, include the um, booster dose, of course. So uh, whether or not we should implement a more stringent uh, requirement, we have to closely observe the, um, the present situations and also the, um, the response of the citizens and also the uptakes in the futures.